On a moonless Halloween night, a relentless storm loomed over the small, isolated town of Windwood. The rain slashed against the windows, and the howling wind seemed to carry whispers from the grave. Windwood was known for its rich history, but it was the Windwood Manor that harbored the darkest secrets. The legend of Windwood Manor was whispered through generations. It was said to be cursed, inhabited by malevolent spirits and lost souls who had met gruesome fates. On this eerie night, curiosity drew five college friends to the notorious manor, hoping to unravel the mysteries that had terrified the town for centuries. Amelia, a fierce skeptic, led the group. She believed in science and scoffed at the supernatural tales. Her boyfriend, Max, was the polar opposite, a firm believer in the occult. Then there was Emily, Alex and Luke, each with their own reasons for wanting to confront the manor's terrors. They reached the old iron gates that led to the manor's grounds. The trees rustled with malice, and the gate creaked open, as if inviting them in. The friends hesitated, but the lure of the unknown was irresistible. Their flashlights cut through the darkness as they made their way up the cobblestone path towards the ominous mansion. The decrepit building loomed above them, its windows shattered, and its walls adorned with ivy. A sudden chill swept through the air. Upon entering the manor, the group was greeted by a musty odor and a feeling of suffocating dread. The walls seemed to whisper secrets, and the floorboards creaked with each step. Amelia's skepticism wavered as she watched Max, who eagerly tried to communicate with any potential spirits. In the dim light, they stumbled upon a grand ballroom, its walls adorned with decaying portraits. The eyes in the paintings seemed to follow them, and the whispering grew louder. Emily, feeling a shiver down her spine, spotted a shadowy figure lurking in the corner. She gasped, but when they turned to look, the figure had vanished. The group pressed forward, their heartbeats echoing in their ears, until they found an old, dusty library. They discovered a book, its pages filled with stories of death, despair and rituals performed within the manor. As they read, the room grew colder, and a chilling presence enveloped them. As Max turned another page, a sudden gust of wind extinguished their flashlights, plunging them into total darkness. Panic set in as they fumbled for their light sources. A whisper, almost a hiss, echoed around them. Get out while you still can. Frantic, they stumbled towards the exit but found themselves trapped. The massive doors slammed shut with a thunderous bang. An invisible force seemed to hold them back. Max, trying to muster his courage, shouted, Who's there? Show yourself. In response, the room trembled, and an eerie wail filled the air. A spectral figure emerged from the darkness, the tortured soul of a previous resident, Lady Isabella Winwood. Her eyes, empty and filled with despair, pierced through their souls. The friends could feel her anguish and the anger that consumed her. She was bound to the manor by a dark curse, and she demanded they share her torment. The room quaked with fury as she reached out, her cold, ethereal fingers brushing against their skin, sending a paralyzing chill through their bodies. Amelia's skepticism had dissolved into terror, and Max's belief in the occult had never seemed more real. They realized their lives hung in the balance, and as Lady Isabella's grip tightened, their vision blurred. Desperation gave birth to a plan. With every ounce of strength, they chanted an incantation from the book they had found. The room quaked in response, and Lady Isabella screamed, her form dissolving into a whirlwind of darkness. Final, chilling cry, she vanished, and the door swung open. Exhausted and shaken, the friends stumbled out of the manor, gasping for fresh air. They had survived, but the Windwood Manor held its secrets close, its malevolence a threat to all who dared enter. The legend of the Windwood haunting would live on a reminder that some horrors were not meant to be uncovered. The friends knew they had touched something otherworldly that night, and as they walked away they glanced back at the manor. The windows now glowed with an eerie light, a spectral warning to all who dared to challenge the darkness that dwelled within the Windwood Manor. 